Hey guys, it's Oscar again. Uh, we're still trying to teach you guys all the different kinds of trailers and how to slide the uh, tandems on all of them. We have about five different makes of trailers and they all have their own special little way on how to slide the tandems. Uh, so if you guys will come back here with me, uh, I'll show you how to do this one. This one's a little bit harder than the last one that we did. The other one was really simple. It was a brand new trailer, so all you have to do is pull it. Uh, none of our equipment here is that old, but this one's an older style. Uh, it's still relatively new. So if you guys just look down here, um, for this one, it's not a push. You actually have to pull, uh, it's not a pull. You have to push the button in. So you come under the trailer, use the palm of your hand and push it in. All right. And then there's a, there's too much pressure on this one right now. So it's not going to let the pins go in, but then to reapply them, you just push, uh, pull it and you guys are good. Make sure your, uh, tractor brakes are set for this one. Again, you just push it in with the palm of your hand and you pull it out <coughs> using two fingers. Might get a little dirty, so be careful. Make sure you guys are wearing your gloves. Make sure you guys are, you know, not, not crawling in here any sort of funky way. Sometimes the tandems can be in the way if you guys are sliding them all the way forward. And also remember, the center of your back axle has to be 40 foot from the kingpin to the... Always remember your 40 foot kingpin to center of the back axle. Uh, law from California. All right, easiest way to measure. As long as you're 10 feet from from the back of the trailer, you guys are legal. All right. Someone did that one. I don't trust anybody but myself. So make sure you guys double check everything you guys are doing. All right. Make sure you guys are being safe out there and try to stay clean.